Oh, good morning, everybody. I think it's been a minute since I uh, started filming, but we are, well, the audio sucks, hang on. We were with that guy, right there. And, and Robert, right there, that guy, yeah. In the woods. In the woods. Woods. Fishing. We, we are, uh, we spent a few days here, camped out, not really camped camp, but set up shop here. And, uh, and we're fishing a lake that I fished like a year, year and a month ago, a year and a couple months ago. And uh, we were filming a bunch of Guggen Squad videos, and, uh, and John and Perrick were here, and Wes, and Sam, and everybody was here, and those guys left last night, but we're still here. We still got to make got to make something happen on this lake. It's been kind of a struggle the last few days. Uh, haven't caught a lot of giant fish. We've caught a few fish, but we're pretty confident today. The weather's changing. There's a cold front coming in up in Dallas. Up in Dallas, it's like 27 degrees. Here, it's like 50. So we're staying here. We're not going back to Dallas. We're going to stay here and see if we can figure them out. We're trying to find the bass that are spawning, but we just we just think it's a little little too early. So we're gonna stay here, switch it up, use some different baits, in hopes we can find big old Texas bass. How you feeling? You ready for this? You gonna have him? I'm ready, cause we're not fishing scared today. Yeah, confident. I feel like the other day we were fishing a little scared in competition. I got a little puckered today. Wide open, wide open, baby. We are out on the water, as you can tell. We got Robert, Robert in front of us, and then it is me and good old LFG. I'm trying to think, when was the last time you and I filmed a video together on my channel? Maybe it was here. If ever? I mean, it's been so I long. I don't think like this, ever. I don't think we ever, have we ever fished together and I put it on my channel? I don't think so. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Yeah. I don't think so. I think it's this always is always like, been like a competition. It's always like a 2v2 or something, but just like Rackley and I, fun fishing. Nothing, no agenda, no challenge, no nothing. Just the challenge is to catch fish because right now it's kind of brutal outside. We got a giant cold front like I was talking about earlier coming in. I think we're gonna make it happen though. It's it's, it's nice. It's it's warm. It's a lot warmer here than it is in Dallas. So. Hey Rob. Hi Rob. Hey guys. That's Lunkers TV right there. Oh hi. There's one, there's one. Yep, yep, that's a good one too. Dude, he smoked it. He freaking, it felt like a jig bite when it ate. Dude, this this might be a good fish. This might be a good fish. I'm gonna go to the back. This might actually be a good freaking fish. It smoked it. I mean, smoked, oh, he's barely hooked. That's a good fish, baby. Woo, come on now. Get up in here, son. Come on, don't come off. Don't come off, yes, yes. Oh, sick. Oh, I just about hooked myself right in the nuts. That would have been That would have been awesome. Look at there, baby, on the old steel shad. Like I said, it's my first time actually throwing this bait and it hit I don't think I've ever had a fish hit it that hard. I mean, it felt like a jig bite. It didn't feel like a crankbait where it just slowly loads up. You just feel the pressure. I mean, it about took the rod out of my hand. This dude, he's, he's, I need pliers. This dude's so freaking, so freaking hooked. He was not coming off. Little fish, my first fish on the new spot. You see that, the power plane I was talking about is right there. Getting close to that warm water action. Woo! All right. See you, Freddy. Bam! Right there. If you guys want this steel shad lure, I will leave it at the top of the description. I will link it down below. Check this thing out. Cold water conditions, tough conditions. I mean, this is the toughest conditions I've faced so far in 2018 of catching fish. This dude absolutely crushed it. They're helping me out, so help me out as well by picking some up down below. So I'll link it down below. They got some different sizes. You can actually use this thing ice fishing. Then they've got some some bigger ones. Actually, I've got one tied on. I'll show you guys. I've also got this one tied on. So you can see there's a, there's a bigger bait, smaller bait. I'm throwing the smaller one just because the fishing is so tough right now. I need something a little bit more subtle, but as you can tell, even this little guy will catch catch some decent fish. So again, I will link down below. Really, really big thanks to those guys for helping me out on this video. And uh, we'll see if we can catch some more. There's one, there's one, there's one. Get out of here, buddy. Woo! Oh, he came off. There we go. Oh, 
Catch and release, baby. On the old steel shed. Beauty. We might be on to something here. Life. Might be on to something here, Rackley. We might have found a little bit of juice action. Got him. Got him. He came back. He came back. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yup. It's about freaking time, son. That was that was a grinder to get this guy in here. Wow. This is not not a bad guy. Is it on that little stick bait? As soon as we got into seven foot. Seven foot was a magic magic uh, depth there. Look at that little guy. Beauty. Beauty. Yeah, this wind is awesome. I'm trying to stay out of the wind and. We're not doing a great job of it, obviously, as you can tell. There's still it's still gusting, but this is pretty much the least windy part of the lake right now. It is absolutely howling, absolutely howling. I mean, it's cold. Like, he, wh how many layers do you have? So you have, what do you, what, just uh, walk me through your outfit right now. T-shirt. T-shirt. I've got a thermal base layer. Thermal base layer. And then I'm going with a a flannel a fleece lined. A fleece lined free flannel. range flannel exactly. Exactly. in gloves i also have and pants and i have thermals under thermal your under your pants I, I left that little detail out but yeah i didn't want to tell you but now that you brought it up i'm rocking thermals i know you're not Ther so, so and so me i got just sweatpants and you know no thermals nothing going on and then i got a nice hoodie with just a t-shirt under this so you know, I'm on the verge of getting hypothermia. Even Rackley is still a little bit chilly. So I feel like I'm in Nebraska right now, which is not what I wanted to be when we're all the way down. And well, I mean, we're in central Texas right now. I thought I was in, gonna be in sunny and 75 weather, but no, nope, not today. There's one, there's one, there's one. Yes, yes. Get in here, buddy. Woo, come on now. Come on now. Get up in here, son. Woo! Finally. Lord. Straight choke the jig. Oh, man. He, he crushed it. Finally. Brackley was tying up a tying up a lure for a little while on the, on the old jig. And, uh, and I was made in the front. And finally, finally got that fish. Oh, that feels so good. You guys have no idea. Uh, surprisingly, holding this fish warms my hands up. That's how cold my hands are right now. Because the water temperature is like 65. I just kind of want to hold. I, I kind of want to snuggle with this thing right now because my body heat is just so freaking cold. But, oh, beautiful Texas fish. Woo. All right, Rackley. You know the drill. You got to name it. Name it? That's, I'm leaving up to you. What are you thinking? I'm what's thinking, it, what's uh, it look like? I'm thinking... We name it Frey Bill. Frey Bill. Frey Bill. It's got a little Frey. He's got a little, a little Frey, a little Frey on it. All right. See you, Frey Bill. Woo! Oh my God! I can't believe it. I can't. I can't believe it. There's one. There's one. Come on, buddy. Get in here, son. Oh! Oh! Flying fish. Flying fish. Where'd you go? Hey, come here, guy. Come here, little guy. Woo! That's my second fish on the old jig. Jig done did it again. Ding dong. Little guy though. See buddy. Just a squeaker kind of surprised me. He actually ran right at the boat. Yeah. And uh, my hook set was a little bit slack line. Didn't get a good hook at him. As you could tell, he went flying across the boat. But got him on the old jig. That guy over there, that's, that's Slunkers TV just killing the game over there. And we're, uh, yeah, I mean, we're catching fish. We are catching fish, but just not the most pleasant conditions possible. That's that's for darn sure. Oh, you got one. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, God, it came out of nowhere. Oh, my gosh. That's the old donkey we needed right there, baby. Oh, son. That's a good fish. Got her done with the old jig. Oh yeah. Beaut. That's what we're looking for. Well, didn't turn on the GoPro till now, but I'm hooked up. What do we got? Oh boy. Wait, is this a bass? Is it a bass? It is a bass. I mean, you bring me to Texas, I don't know what you expect. I mean, that's not out of the ordinary for you, buddy. No, I feel right, I feel right at home with this guy. 
Oh man, that is, uh, wow. Just doing big things with my life here. All right, if I, if, I, if I hold it this close to the camera, does it, does it look big? Boom! All right, let's hook it up with the dang Mondo. In a weird position. <laughs> Just letting him swim around. Well, I got, I got a heavy rod on here. So. Okay, so you're trying to rip out the trebles. Exactly. All right, tips from Rackley. Don't Dang rip out the trebles. Just let him, let him wear himself out. There you go. Look at that. Look at the trap right in the dome, dude. Just domed him, man. <laughs> domed him. Really? Really now? Oh, I see. There we go. It's finger trap. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. Hang on, is that a fish? Oh, yeah. No way, no that's a fish. Way, no way, that's Are a fish. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta be joking. What? What is this in front of the boat? Just get that. Dude, come here, buddy. Are you serious? Dude, did you just see what happened? <laughs> that is so weird, bro. That is one of the strangest fish catches I've ever had in my entire life. What the heck? So, for those of you guys that didn't really follow what was going on there, um, basically, Rackley and I, we crossed our lines together, and so his came in first, and he was untangling, untangling, he ended up cutting his line, and my lure was literally just dangling off the side of the boat, and when I started reeling down, this guy actually ate it <laughs> out from under the boat, <laughs> not even hardly moving it, just literally sitting there, this little, this little red guy, this dude is straight killing it. I mean, obviously not giants, but that was crazy. I've never had that happen where the bait's just dangling over the side of the boat and this guy, he crushed it. Beauty. See you, buddy. That was very, very strange. I was, I thought for sure I was in the trolling motor or something, and I was like, oh, crap, something's pulling. Nope, just just a fish munching this, this little guy right there. Oh, and we are, uh, we're done fishing. As you can see, we are on the dock and uh, I'm gonna go back in Rackley's boat or back in his truck and trailer put the boat on the trailer it was uh kind of a tough day out there guys not gonna lie I uh, froze my complete butt off like probably the coals I've ever been fishing um, and I know it doesn't seem that bad out here I mean it, it's only it's like 50 degrees which isn't bad but just that wind the north wind was cutting right through my clothes absolutely atrocious where am I going the Rackley's cars over here and uh, it was really bad. It was, uh, it was pretty cold. But anyways, I'm not going to quite end the video here. Me and Rob actually have like a four-hour drive back. So uh, maybe we'll do a little little Q&A with Lunkers TV or something just to make this video a little bit better for you guys. Six and a half hours later. You look awful. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel awful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a hotel. Rob and I. We, uh, we made it to the, the destination we were going to. In which that's the video you guys are gonna see after this one, hopefully. Hopefully, we catch fish. <laughs> is this really bad? Is this a really bad update, Robert? <laughs> it's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, like I said, I'm in a, in a hotel doing doing big things. Rob's respooling. I'm here getting getting some editing work done. We we're headed to a lake that I haven't been to before tomorrow. But Rob was there what two weeks ago? Like two weeks ago, and and caught fish at least at least better than than we did. A little bit of a struggle out today, out today, a little on the water out today in the water or something. We were on. when we were fishing, it was a struggle, and uh, we're hoping it's gonna be better. I'm trying to convince Rob to to take this. All right, so his allergies are acting up really bad, and he's taking medicine. Let me know in the comment section down below. Should he take this? I took it once, like I don't know, five years ago, and it worked, but I hated it. it made me very uncomfortable. But <laughs> so you want me to do it? Well, Rob should do it because it worked though. Like it, it made me feel so much better. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys had any, this is like a neti pot type thing. If you guys had any experience, should Rob take this to feel better with his allergies or or is that or will that not work? Let us in the comment section down below. Well, you got anything else to say for all the pro fishermen watching? I'm going to go catch fish tomorrow. Zing. All right, well, if you guys like this video, make sure you drop a like. If you liked it, I'm not sure why you did. It was pretty terrible. But maybe tomorrow's video will be a little bit better. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.